Good morning Quirky Birders, it's Lynn here and um, welcome to episode three of your daily art challenge. So I've got my painting here, um, it's dried really quite nicely. I've got the lovely sort of purpley shimmers on this band um, here which I'm still not entirely happy with, I have to be honest with you. Um, so it does need a little bit more work but um, we'll work on that today. First of all, what I'm going to do is just put in these different colours of green. So yesterday we finished off by using a lovely leaf green. And today I'm just going to rework that and just add in a little bit of yellow. And that just gives me a warmer shade of green. So I've added in the yellow. And we'll just work on this layer here. Like so. And then we'll just do round the back of our, our hair. And then on this line here, that green that I've just mixed I'm actually going to drop just a little bit of blue into it. Just so you get that wonderful sort of slate bluey green colour. You want it to be a little bit more green than the blue. So I've just added a little bit more of the green. And then we're just going to just do that lovely line along the top there. gone so dark let me just take that away okay it's far too dark Okay, we'll do the little bit behind him. Lovely. And then we've just got one more little bit to do. So all I'm going to do for this little bit here is again, still with that greeny blue. What we'll do is we'll add a little bit more yellow. So 
I've just popped a little bit more yellow in there. And then all I'm going to do again is just follow those little wibbly wobbly lines. Again the other side. And just then that little bit behind his ear. Super. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just do a little bit more work on our sky. We've got all of the background completed. It's taken us a while. It's taken us two days. <laughs> but... Um, it really does look really quite effective once it's all finished. So let's start by adding in some silver to the moon. So we've got that lovely shimmery texture on our moon. So we're going to start to have some fun with those lovely metallic colours. If you haven't got the metallic paints, then don't worry. You can still build the colour up just using your greys and whites. You just want to do a little bit of glazing, that's all. And like I say, don't completely paint the area. You don't want all of the area painted. Now you can use a little bit of the blue so we'll just use a little bit of the blue just to define that edge I'm going to use a little bit more of the silver on the next one because it's a little bit paler. Go back to the blue on the next one. And you don't have to do it all the way around. You can just put some of the shading more to the top of your picture. really is beginning to look rather nice. And we we'll use the blue again here. And 
and just work on that edge where I'm not not entirely happy and I'm still not entirely happy <laughs> but hopefully we can rectify it much better now. Pick up that purple again. I'm just going to miss this problem area at the moment and I'm just going to work on this edge here. Again, just push that to the edge just to really define it. Right, let's see what we can do. much better. We'll just come down the other side. There we go. A little bit of perseverance and we get there in the end. <laughs> so it's just Finish off defining this little bit here. I just want to try and pick up some of that blue around our little hair's nose. There we go. better. Looks lovely. Now if you've got the gold or the bronzy colour in your set of metallics what you can do is just put a little bit of shimmer 
just along the edge and just a little bit of shading so you can concentrate on the little shadows around the little hair so it can come off off his little legs we'll just put a little a little bit all the way along the edge of that sand we can put some around his bottom Now, like I say, if you haven't got the metallics, then please, you know, don't worry. You can still achieve this and still do this painting just by this process. Now, you would just use the glazing. So you would just introduce the tonal colour or the same yellow ochre colour. And just do that lovely, lovely bit of shading. I'll just put a couple of little bit more highlights dotted through and just wet the brush Now I'm going to leave the green. I'm not going to put any sparkle onto the green. Um, and I'm just going to now just leave the painting um, pretty much as is. So our background has been completed. So we've got our lovely shades of our greys and blues going through to the um, violent violets. Um, and the lovely purples. Um, we've then defined this lovely glaze line over the top and then we've also worked some of the glitter um, paints the sp and the metallic paints into it just to give it that lovely sheen. We've put our grasses in using different tones of greens um, and then we've also just done a little bit of shading just in the foreground here using some of those metallics. So that's it for episode three. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for episode four um, and we shall be painting in our lovely little moon gazing hair. I'm around. If you've got any questions, um, please don't hesitate to message me and, um, and I shall see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.